forgiveness. ECOWAS has neither declared war on the people of Niger, nor is there a plan, as it is being purported, to invade the country. The ECOWAS authority of heads of state and government has only activated a full-scale application of sanctions, which include the use of legitimate force to restore constitutional order. Critical update from Nigel. Welcome to Holidays on the Wheel with Jay. You know that Nigel uh, military junta recently, there was a wide um, speculation that there was going to be a military intervention of which the ECOWAS agreed to. They initiated everything, ready to do that. But there have been wide rejection across Africa and West Africa, to be precise, to stop ECOWAS from invading Niger. And as a result of that, so many people have gone to social media to, you know, air out their view in regards to this. Uh, before this weekend, a few days ago, uh, the ECOWAS have a meeting of which they have uh, tried to uh, retrain their steps. You know, they don't want to invade Niger anymore. Before I show you this video, please do where to subscribe to this channel as uh, well as hit up the notification button in order to get much more of our videos. So here we go. This is the video of what ECOWAS said in regards to the current situation in Niger. Soldiers in the Republic of Niger decided to hold the democratically elected president of Niger, His Excellency Mohamed Bazoum, hostage. While the ECOWAS Authority of Heads of State and Government was in the process of finding a peaceful resolution to the impasse, the situation degenerated into an attempted coup and matters escalated from there. The first mission sent by the chair of ECOWAS Authority of Heads of State on the 26th of July did not receive much response. The second mission led by His Excellency General Abdul Salam Abu Bakr and His Eminence, the Sultan of Sokoto, had its meet meetings at the airport in Niger. A joint mission involving the African Union, the United Nations, and ECOWAS was aborted. I am glad to report that the most recent mission was received by the president of the CNSP, the prime minister and members of the CNSP. The mission also saw President Bazoum. Ladies and gentlemen, coup d'etat is a tragedy for our region, especially our regional efforts at consolidating democracy after the political crisis of the 1990s, exemplified by the civil war in Liberia and Sierra Leone. Through collective efforts of our community, the region was stabilized and the foundation for democracy and the rule of law restored. Indeed, until about three years ago, all leaders in the ECOWAS region were democratically elected. Unfortunately, the ill winds of coups started blowing again recently and the region has experienced three successful coups and several failed coup d'etats. The current development in the Re Republic of Niger adds to the list of attempted coup uh, attempted coup d'etats in the region. So you can understand why the heads of state and government have decided that this is one coup too many and resolved that it was time to end the contagion. As the, 20, the 2001 Supplementary Protocol on Democracy and Good Governance. The deployment of the ECOWAS standby force is provided for in the 1999 mechanism. Spe specifically, Article 25 express tip expressively stipulates the conditions for the deployment of such a force. Among other conditions, 
The article provides that the force can be deployed in the event of an overthrow or an attempted overthrow of a democratically elected government. Furthermore, the Supplementary Act of 2012 also provides for sanctions to be invoked against members that fail to honor their obligations within the community. It also provides for the use of legitimate force in the restoration of constitutional order. The Republic of Niger is a signatory to all these regional instruments. Therefore, those who challenge the legality of the decision of ECOWAS heads of state and government need to do more research. In taking its decision of 30 July and 10th August, the authority of ECOWAS heads of state and government was only activating these provisions. Unfortunately, this decision has been taken out of context and repeatedly misrepresented in the media as a declaration of war against the Republic of Niger, or a planned invasion of the country. It is even tragic that some influential persons in the community have promoted this narrative, which has been hyped in the social media, as the gospel truth. These persons have conveniently ignored the strenuous efforts of the community to engage with the military authority in Niger to reverse the attempted coup. For the avoidance of doubt, let me state unequivocally that ECOWAS has neither declared war on the people of Niger. May I repeat this? ECOWAS has neither declared war on the people of Niger, nor is there a plan as it is being purported to invade the country. The ECOWAS authority of heads of state and government has only activated a full-scale application of sanctions, which include the use of legitimate force to restore constitutional order. In the interim, the region is employing other elements of its instruments and engaging with the military authorities, as can be attested to by the several missions that have been fielded to the country and our joint efforts with our partners, including the African Union and the United Nations. We are hopeful, we are hopeful that these diplomatic efforts will yield the desired outcome and make it unnecessary for the deployment of the force. Nonetheless, preparations continue towards making the force ready for deployment. So that is it from that angle. Now, this is what um, some uh, someone wrote uh, on uh, social media as critical. He called it a, crit uh, he called it a critical update. You know what is happening in Niger, and reactions are pouring in from left, right, and center as regards to what is happening in niger according to him he said the military attack here in niger have sparked you know remarkably in the last few days intensely those attacks here began hitting on after the report that friends you know had you know asked the algerian permission to use the airspace in order to strike um niger but of which they refused Emmanuel macron also lost his school and lodged out you know against the nigerian junta for continued detention of the president which is uh loyal to the french uh, government and as a result of that the ECOWAS, you know they also keep on talking about the ECOWAS not acting on time in fact about two days ago preciously uh precisely thursday 24th of august 23 the foreign minister of both niger mali and burkina faso met in niger's capital and they signed a memo and this memo now represents that uh in any attack on niger the burkina faso mali you know they will attack or fight back you know in defense of niger and also that of um 
uh, Burkina Faso and Mali as well. Meaning that all this drama is now becoming much more like a reality. Remember that the uh, he further said that Vladimir uh, Putin also encouraged Africans country not to worry because the Wajina group leader who died on a plane crash which we reported earlier and uh, it says they are going to do more even though the, the leader of the Wajina group is gone but they are going to do more then earlier yesterday being Saturday um, the Niger uh, Nigerians once again had a massive uh, pro military protests over 30,000 people, you know, fill up the stadium to swell their allegiance to the military, to, 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 to Russia, you know, to Algeria. And according to one of the mother who wore the their flag, um, I mean the Niger flag from head to toe, says for 60 years there have never been any form of independence in Niger. Rather, you know, the day the, the military coup happened was the day that the independence of Nigerians started. ECOWAS also maintained it's not starting any war with Nigeria, probably given the context uh, wide rejection, the continent wide rejection of any military intervention. We have watched that on the video already. So this is what someone wrote as to the details um, about what happened in, or what is going on in Nigeria and um, reactions keep pouring in as to that regard of what this person said and someone said don't take war to people that are happy with the change he said just because they said another one said just because they said stop destroying our land using our people as slaves and stealing our resources you want to go to war with them you know this is too bad too bad too bad too bad too bad so that is it for me today if you have not subscribed again i still remind you please do it to hit the subscription button as we you know look forward to hit 3,000 subscribers and um, hit do it to follow us on follow me on facebook and um instagram as well as twitter you can also follow me on tiktok thank you very much see